welcome you to this um, uh, my YouTube channel. Okay. So if you're new to this channel, kind of subscribe for more videos and share the video if you find it receive to you with your friends. Okay. So in this uh, representation, I'll be devising a sector from insulation and a computer. Okay. So in this representation, I'm going to revise sector from insulation and computer. Okay. So on this part here, or question one is saying, which is question A, it is saying, the figure below is a sector POQ whose angle at the center is 16 degrees. Okay. So given that the radius, the radius of the sector is 21 centimeters, calculate its area. So I'm saying, the figure below is a sector POQ whose angle at the center is 16 degrees. Okay. So the center here is the center O. And then it is saying, given that the radius of the sector it is 21 centimeters, calculate its area. Take pi to be 22 over 7. Okay. So our pi here it is 22 over 7. Okay. So now, they are asking us to calculate the area of the sector. So the first thing here, I'm going to give you the formula that we are going to use to calculate the area of the sector. So I'm going to say the area of the sector is equal to theta over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by r squared. So this one here, it is the radius. So now also for this r squared, this one is representing that here we have uh, two arrows, which is the radius. So in this case here, we can say all oh, r multiplied by r like this, okay? So r multiplied by r, we are going to get r squared, okay? So now in this case here, we are, um, the question is saying uh, we need to calculate the area of the sector. So the value of the theta here, it is this angle here, which is 60 degrees, okay? So I'm going to say area of the sector is equal to 60 degrees, which is my theta over 360 multiplied by pi. So in this case here, pi there, we are saying we need to take 22 over 7. So I'm going to say 22 over 7 multiplied by. So in this case here, I'm not going to say 21 to the power 2, but I'm going to use this one here, like you are saying, r multiplied by r. So I'm going to say 21 multiplied by 21. Okay. So that is my radius. So now, on this part here, what is important is for you to know how to reduce the numbers. So as you can see, this zero and this one here, they can cancel each other. Okay. So this zero and this one here, they can cancel each other. And the result here, we are going to remain with 6 here. And then here, we are going to remain with 36. Here 20, 22 over 7, here 21 multiplied by 21. So let me write on this part here. Okay. So I'll just go step by step so that you understand on this part here. Sector is very simple. Yeah. So yeah. So we are remaining with this one here. So in this case here, we can say um, 6 into 6 that's in 1. Then when you multiply 6 multiplied by 6, you're going to get 6. Okay. So I'm going to say 6 into 36, I'm going to get 6. Okay. So 36 uh, divided by 6, I'm going to get what? 6. So similarly, let me try to write to make you understand this part here. Okay. So on this part here, I'm having 6 here. Then here I'm having 7. Then here I'm having 21. So I'm going to say. 7 into 7, I'm going to get 1, okay? 7 into 7, I'm going to get 1. Then here I'm going to say, 7 into 21, if you don't know how to, uh, like if you don't know if 7, it can go into 21, just like this. So this one here is going to represent 1, this one is 1. Now, as for this one here, 1, I'm going to say this one is going to represent 10. Another one is going to represent 10. Now this one is 21, so I'm going to say, 1e, which is 21. So 10 plus 10, I'm going to get 20 plus 1. That's 21. So I'm going to say 7 into 10, I'm going to get 1, remainder 3. Even here, similarly, I'm going to get 1, remainder 
3. So I'm going to say 3 plus 3 plus 1, I'm going to get 7. Okay. So 3 plus 3 plus 1, I'm going to get 7. So 7 into 7, that's 1. So I'm going to say 1 plus 1, that's 2, plus 1, that's 3. So 7 can go into 21. How many times? 3 times. Okay. I hope you are understanding on this part here. So I was saying 7 into 7, that's 1. Then 7 into 21, that's 3. So here I'm going to say, okay, let me try to rewrite on this part here so that you understand. Okay. So 1 over 6. Then here we have remained with save 20. Here we have remained with 22 only. Okay, so 22 multiplied by 3, which is this one here. Multiplied by 21, which is this one here. Okay. So here I'm going to say, 3 into 3, I'm going to get 1. 3 into 3, I'm going to get 1. 3 into 6, I'm going to get 2. Then here I'm going to say A is equal to 1 over 2. Multiply by 22. Multiply by 21. Then here I'm going to say uh, 2 into 2, that's 1. And then 2 into 22, I'm going to get 11. So here, two, 1 into 1, I'm going to get 1. So my area is going to be 11 multiplied by 22. Let me say my 20, 21 and 22. So similarly, like the way uh, I was doing on this part here, or in another, in other ways, I can say, let's multiply 11 multiplied by 21. Okay. So 11 multiplied by 21. 1 multiplied by 1, I'm going to get 1. 1 multiplied by 1, I'm going to get 1. 2 multiplied by 1, I'm going to get 2. Then 2 multiplied by 1, I'm going to get 2. So in this case, I'm going to say, um, zero, 1 plus 0, I'm going to get 1. Then, on this part here, I'm going to say, um, yes, on this part here, I'm going to say 1 plus 2, I'm going to get 3. Then 0 plus 2, I'm going to get 2. So my area here is going to be 231. Now, area is measured in centimeters squared, like this. Okay. So as for the first one here, we are done. Let's try to answer the second one, which is question B. So question B is saying, uh, in the answer space below is an incomplete flowchart logular for calculating the curved surface area. Uh, for the calculating the, the curved surface area, which is needed by calculator A of a cone with base radius R and this land height, which is needed by is, uh, S, then the question is saying complete the logular. So in this part here, it is very, very important for you to know the shapes. So this one here it is called a parallelogram. Then this one here it is called a rectangle. Okay. This one here it is a parallelogram. And then this one here it is a rectangle. So in a, in a parallelogram, you are going to enter the things that you are... Let's say for example, if you want to calculate the area here, you need to multiply S multiply by R to get that one. So I'm going to say R comma S. In this case here, we are calculating the area of the, let me say the curved surface area of the cone. So I'm going to say A is equal to R multiplied by, so for multiplication we use custom multiplied by S on this part here. So that was the last one.